فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد الحديث السابع السبت حديث في وجوب العمل بالقرآن the obligation of implementing the Quran or that it's obligatory to implement the Quran so this hadith is going to be talking about that it is obligatory to implement the Quran عن أبي موسى الأشعري رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم القرآن حجة لك أو عليك رواه مسلم This hadith is an evidence that it's obligatory to implement that which is in the Quran والتقيد والتقيد بأوامره ونواهي and to stay and to stick by and to restrict yourself to the commands that are in the Qur'an and the prohibitions that are in the Qur'an وَأَنَّهُ حُجَّةٌ لِمَنْ عَمِلَ بِهِ and that it's a proof for the person who implements that which is in the Qur'an وَاتَّبَعَ مَا فِيهِ and he follows that which is in it وَحُجَّةٌ عَلَى مَنْ لَمْ يَعْمَلْ بِهِ and it's a proof against the one who doesn't implement that which is in it وَلَمْ يَتَّبِعْ مَا فِيهِ and doesn't follow that which is in it قال بعض السلف some of the salaf they said as Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali brought this statement in his book Jami' Uloom al-Hikam the explanation of the 23rd hadith the explanation of the 23rd hadith Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali brings the statement where some of the salaf they said ما جالس أحد القرآن فقام عنه سالما There's nobody who stood up from reciting the Quran who was safe بل إما أن يربح Either you might, you might stand up from reciting the Quran and you become prosperous and you gain better than what you had أو أن يخسر أو you may lose ثم تلا قوله تعالى and they recited the verse of Allah وننزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين ولا يزيد الظالمين إلا خسارا Allah سبحانه وتعالى he said the Quran وننزل we said down من القرآن this min is not تبعضية بيان جنس as Ibn Qayyim mentions in his kitab الداء والدواء وننزل we send down من القرآن أي القرآن the Quran we send down the Quran ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين that which is a cure for the believers ولا يزيد الظالمين إلا خسارا but the disbelievers the transgressors the criminals they don't gain from the Qur'an except loss. So if you, the Salaf, they're trying to say here is, there is nobody who sits down to read the Qur'an who is not going to gain more than what they had. Either you're going to lose or you're going to get better than what you had. You won't be as you were when you first read it. Abdullah ibn Salih al-Fawzan says in al al-kubra the greatest objectives min inzal al-Qur'an in which the Qur'an was set down for was tasdiq akhbarihi to believe 
the information, the news the Quran gives you to accept it and to believe it. And to implement it. How? By following that which it commands you to do. وَجْتِنَاءَ بِأَنْ تِسْتَيْ غَيْ فَرَمْ مَا يَنْهَا عَنْهُ ذَا وَشْ إِنْ پرَهِبِتْ يُو فَرَمْ لَيْسَ الْغَرَضُ مِنْ إِنْزَالِهِ التِّلَاوَةِ الْلَفْضِيَّةِ The objective is not just merely reading the words. The objective is not just merely reading the words. وهي القراءة الصحيحة التي يكون القارئ فيها متحليا بأجمل الصفات وأشرف الخصال تعظيما لله تعالى It's a recitation that is correct in which the reciter will adorn himself with the best characteristics there is out there And have with him وَأَشْرَفِ الْخِصَالِ The best of characteristics. Why? تَعْظِيمًا لِلَّهِ تَعَالَى To honor Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. وَتَأَدُّبًا مَعَ كَلَامِهِ And to have good manners with the words of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. فَإِنَّ هَذَا وَإِنْ كَانَ مَطْلُوبًا Even though reciting the Quran very well Beautifully being read, coming with good characteristics whilst reading it, all of those. Even that, though, all of that is good. Lakin, but, hunaka tiulawatul hukumiyatul alayha madalu saadatil abdi wa falah. The recitation, there is another type, which is the ruling based recitation. Not the mere word recitation, which your happiness is connected to this one. Which is the recitation which the rulings is taken into implementation. Madaru Saadatil Abdi wa Falahi. Your happiness, your success <coughs> is revolves around this. In Laha Tiba'ul Quran is to follow the Quran. Shaykh Al-Sabi ibn Taymiyyah, he said, Anna lafdu tilawa, when the word tilawa, Tilawa, that word tilawa, when it is, إِذَا أُطْلِقَ when it's unrestrictedly said, إِذَا أُطْلِقَ if it's said unrestrictedly, في مثل قوله تعالى, like in the statement of Allah, for instance, الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ The ones who recite the Qur'an, الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ يَتْلُونَهُ الَّذِينَ the ones آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ Sorry, the ones we gave them the book. يَتْلُونَهُ They recite the book. حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِهِ The way it deserves for it to be read. Ibn Taymiyyah went on to say, تَنَاوَلَ الْعَمَلِ بِالْقُرْآنِ That that recitation has been used here. يَتْلُونَهُ حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِهِ It encompasses. It also means implementing that which is in it. As there are some tafsir, كَمَا فَسَّرَهُ بِذَلِكَ الصَّحَابَةِ وَالتَّابِعُونَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ عَنْهُمْ As there are some sahabas, and some of the students of the sahabas who explain that يَتُلُونَ وَحَقَّ تِلَاوَتِي To actually mean implementing it. So what the shaykh is saying here is, Shaykh Abdullah ibn Salih al-Fawzan, is the ultimate objectives of the Qur'an brothers is to believe in that which is in it, is to implement it by how, what does it mean implementing? It means following that which it tells you to do, staying away from that which it tells you to stay away from. The objective isn't that the person just opens the Quran and he reads it and reads it. Even that though, that is good. Even that though, that is honorable. But that is not the ultimate objectives of the Quran. Then the Sheikh said, for example, when the word recitation is used, don't always think to yourself, unrestrictedly when the word tilawa is used, don't think to yourself that the word tilawa, it means recitation. So it only means, huh? it only means that it is 
التلاوه اللفظيه the word based recitation but no there is something called tilawa hukmiyah implementation based recitation where the person is his body is reciting on his limbs by implementing this act you are reciting it on your limbs and that second one is the ultimate objectives Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ I swear by the Lord in which my soul is in his hand in the حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِهِ he's talking about the ayah that I read Surah Al-Baqarah ayah 121 Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said I swear by the Lord in which my soul is in his hand in the حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِهِ to truly recite it means أَن يُحِلَّ حَلَالَهُ that you make the halal that's in the Quran halal for yourself. If Allah makes something halal, you live by it as though it's halal. And anything which Allah makes haram, you also consider it haram and you stay away from it. And that the person recites it Allah the way Allah set it down. And that the person does not dis distort. And that the person he does not distort a word from his place and mawadu'i from his place. وَلَا يَتَأَوَّلُ مِنْهُ شَيْئًا And he does not interpret it. He does not explain it. شَيْئًا Anything in the Qur'an غَيْرَ تَأْوِيلِهِ Other than the correct interpretation. Mujahid ibn Jabrin, what did he say about the ayah? يَتْلُونَهُ حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِي Mujahid ibn Jabrin, رحمه الله he said, يَتْلُونَهُ They recite it. حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِهِ He said it means, يَتَّبِعُونَهُ حَقَّ اتِّبَاعِهِ They follow it the way it deserves to be followed. Abdullah ibn, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud's statement we have, Mujahid's statement we have. Then Abdullah ibn Salih al-Fawzan said, وَعَلَى هَذَا دَرَجَ السَّلَفُ And according to that, the Salaf they stand, وعلى هذا درج السلف الصالح من هذه الأمة. The salaf of this ummah they tread on that path, they took that road. فتعلموا القرآن they learned the Quran وعملوا به and they implemented it في كل شأن من شؤون حياتهم. They implemented it in all of their affairs, in their day-to-day -day life affairs. عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه he said ابن جرير الطبري and Imam Hakim narrated this. Which Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, كان الرجل منا إذا تعلم عشر آيات. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said that any one of us who learned ten verses, لا يجاوزهن will never go forward. He will never go forward. حتى يعرف حتى يعرف معانيهن والعمل بهن. He wouldn't go forward. He wouldn't proceed until he knew the meaning that was in it, and he implemented. Those ten verses. So any one of the companions who learned ten verses, he wouldn't move on to any other ten verses. Unless what? Until he learned the what? The meaning. And implemented that which is in it. وَمِثْلُهُ Like that. Like that. Abu Abdurrahman al-Sulabi. Abu Abdurrahman al-Sulabi. Whose name is Abdullah ibn Habib. Abdullah ibn Habib, or bin Kibari Tabi'in, he also said the same as what Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said. Rather, he said, Abu Abdurrahman al Sulabi said, that the ones who taught us the Quran, they told us. And he's referring to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Uthman ibn Affan, and others. His statement, you can find it in Musannaf ibn Abi Shayba, Ibn Jarir al Tabari also brings it, and Ahmad Shakir, the great Muhaqqiq and Muhaddith, he said, هذا إسناد صحيح متصل. He said that the chain of narration of Abu Abdurrahman al-Sulabi is an authentic, correct, transmitted narration. فعلى القارئ القرآن. Then it's upon the one who's reading the Quran, the reciter of the Quran. وحامله and the one that's carrying the Quran, who's memorized the Quran. أن يتقي الله في نفسه في الله in yourself. وَأَنْ يَخْلِصَ فِي قِرَاءَتِهِ And to be sincere in the recitation of the Qur'an. 
ويعمل به أن you implement that which is in the Quran وأن يحذر أن you stay away from من مخالفة القرآن in opposing the Quran والإعراض عن أحكامه and to also stay away from opposing the rules that are in the Quran وآدابه and the manners that are in the Quran لألا يلحقه من الذم ما لحق اليهود الذين قال الله فيهم so it doesn't happen to you or it doesn't occur to you yeah the rebuke in which Allah rebuked the Jews Allah said about them مثل الذين حملوا التوراة ثم لم يحملوها كمثل الحمار يحمل أسفارا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he likened them to, to what to what to a donkey a donkey who's carrying books scrolls what does he know about what he's carrying the one who's memorized the Quran who's not implementing that which is in it then he's going to become what كمثل الحمار يحمل أسفارا and sadly nowadays we find those who are called Hufad on YouTube, social media, Facebook, Twitter, the Hufad. The Quran, they thought, understood it to be just mere recitation. He's a pop, he's a, he's a celebrity. He does songs, he listens to music, he smokes. Yeah. Ba'adhalika, he's what? He's called a Hafiz, he's Qari. صحيح. You say Qari, remember it's the Quran, there's no beard, he won't let his beard grow. He'll shave his beard. And it's called the Qari. لا. The Qari who's carrying the Quran, he has to come with sincerity and he has to implement that which is in the Quran. And he has to stay away from opposing the Quran. Because the Quran said to you, وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُهُ وَمَا, نها وما نهاكم عنه فانتهوا. Whatever the Prophet sallallahu gives you, take it from him. And anything that he prohibits from you, stay away from it. The Prophet sallallahu brought to you this ruling, which is to let your beard grow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, فَلِيَحْذَرِ الَّذِينَ يُخَالِفُونَ عَنْ أَمْرِهِ أَنْ تُصِيبَهُمْ فِتْنَةً أَوْ يُصِيبَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ وَلَا مُؤْمِنَةٍ إِذَا قَضَى اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُ أَمْرًا أَنْ يَكُونَ لَهُمُ الْخِيرَةُ بِالْ إِنِّي أُوتِيتُ الْقُرْآنَ وَمِثْلَهُ مَعَهُ I, Muhammad sallallahu was given the Qur'an and the likes of the Qur'an, which is the Sunnah. The Prophet saying this. I have been given the Qur'an and I've also been given the likes of the Qur'an, which is the Sunnah. So the Sunnah is also a revelation. The Sunnah is the second form of revelation. This is the second form of revelation because the Prophet said, or Allah said about the Prophet, وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ وَإِلَّا وَحِيٌّ يُوحَىٰ The Prophet does not speak from his own whims and desires. Everything he says is a revelation. عليه الصلاة والسلام So, the one who's memorized the Qur'an, who's not following the Prophet then there's a deficiency on his side. And this hadith does not involve him. Because the hadith, here we have, hadith Abi Musa al-Ash'ari, that the Qur'an is what? Al-Qur'an hujjatun lak. Oh, alayk. This Qur'an has become a hujjah against you now. It's a proof that stands against you. Because you have not implemented it as you should have. Because what was the job? Al-Ladheena ataynahum al-Kitaba. The ones we gave him the Qur'an, what did they do? Yatlunahu haqqa tilawati. They recited the way it deserves to be recited. And we said the recitations two times. Tilawa lafdiyya. And tilawa hukumiyya. So if you think to yourself that the only one that's needed from you is to only recite it properly, there's a deficiency on your side. Because you said the gayatul uzma. The greatest objectives of the Quran is what? An implementation. And we brought the statement of who? Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, which is in tafsir ibn Jarir Tabari. Yeah? And also tafsir ibn Kathir, and also ibn Taymiyyah brings in his majmu'ah al fatawa. We saw also brought the statement of Mujahid ibn Jabr. يَتْرُونَ حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِي When he said, رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ We also brought the statement of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud again. In what, that which he said that we never used to learn. We never used to what? كَانَ الرَّجُلُ مِنَّا إِذَا تَعَلَّمْ عَشْرَ آيَاتِ That one of us, if he memorized ten verses, لَمْ يُجَاوِزُهُنَّ will never go by. 
He'll never carry on. Unless what? Hatta ya'rifa ba'ariyahunna. He would ask every verse, what does this mean? What is meant by it? Once he has learned the meaning in it, then and only then, and, and also implemented it. Wal'amalu bihinna. And he implemented it, only then would he move on. So this concept that fulan is a qari, he's a qari, and he doesn't know what the Qur'an means. This, this is a deficient, this is deficient in the re-meaning of the word qari. The Salaf, they didn't know that as a qari. The Salaf, they knew a qari as what? A person who had qawlan, wa'amalan, wa'atiqada. Allahumma rizuqna tilawata, tilawata kitabik. Ala alwajhi alladhi yurdiq anna. وَاجْعَلْنَا يَا إِلَاهَنَا مِمَّنْ يُحِلُّ حَلَالَهُ وَيُحَرِّمُ حَرَامَهُ وَيَعْمَلُ بِمُحْكَمِهِ وَيُؤْمِنُ بِمُتَشَابِهِ وَيَتْلُوُ حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِهِ وَاغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِوَالِدِينَا وَلِجَمِيعِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَّ بِحَمْدِكَ أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهُ أَسْتَغْفِرُكَ وَأَتُوبُ إِلَيْ